Hello friends, this is Bruce Kahn here in Northern New York in January of 2023. We're doing our biotic survey of the St. Lawrence River in Lake Ontario. One of the main things that we look for, and we've been doing this for now over 30 years, is we look for invasive species. And the most notorious of the invasive species are the brown things that you see attached to this red buoy behind me. And we study the buoys, we look at those because lots of things attached to them and we can determine what's going up and down the river or across the Great Lakes at any time. But let me talk to you a little bit about the mussels. These mussels, we call them zebra mussels in general, but there are two species, both of them introduced accidentally from Europe uh, back in the 1980s. And they've caused tremendous amounts of damage uh, economically uh, to a variety of industries, especially the power and water provision industries, but also to fisheries and to uh, a lot of our native species. The mussels are called Drycenids. There are two species that have come, like I said, one is called Drycena polymorpha, uh, the other one is called Drycena rostriformis bugensis, the quagga mussel. And so uh, they share in common a coloration pattern where they have uh, stripes on them sometimes, but actually they're quite variable. Uh, this particular buoy taken from right here in Messina, close to the marine basin where I'm working, uh, these are mostly the original zebra mussels. The quagga mussels came in a little bit later and actually are quite more competitive against the zebra mussels, but uh, they both still exist here in the river as well as different parts in the lake. I'm gonna go a little bit closer here to see if you can see these. And if you get right up close, you can see a little bit more of their form, a little bit more perhaps of their coloration, uh, the zebra-like patterns. Uh, the zebra mussels themselves, the Dracaena polymorpha, have a uh, more of a flat bottom to them. The quagga mussels are more rounded on the bottom, and there are some other differences as well. Uh, but again, they are both very harmful to our uh, industries, our utilities, our native organisms in this area. So that's just to give you a little bit more idea. I'll report later on, maybe from the laboratory, where I can show you some better images of these and talk more about their life cycle. These mussels are uh, so especially difficult to control because they are true mussels. They behave more as marine organisms, that is, um, organisms that live in the ocean, uh, rather than those that live in fresh water. And I'll have to explain that later, but for now, uh, just realize that uh, the, the beautiful waterways that you love uh, are being exploited by invasive aliens, not only the native species, but we're happy to be always out here studying them and reporting back to you so that you can have a better understanding of your environment. So stay informed, stay healthy, stay safe, take care.